Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and I'm just here with some uh, Castlevania um, for you for Nintendo 3DS. Now, what I thought I would do is just run through um, some of the uh, skills that are available because there's actually quite a lot in the game, and a number of people have asked me, you know, how many sort of moves, different moves there are in the game. Well, I'm just going to show you or run you through some of them. So there's a list of moves. Not all of them are unlocked, so I can't show them all to you, unfortunately. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to start off. I'm going to show you a little bit in gameplay as well in a minute, but I'll just sort of run you through a list. So dodge, as you can see, that's hold left, and then move your stick, and left or right, depending on where you're situated. And uh, then you've got block, and that's just hold left. And obviously it gives you more information on there. Be careful as more powerful attacks can break your block. And uh, then we have got synchronized block. Blocking at just the right moment before receiving an impact makes it possible to open up your attacker for a deadly counter strike. Then we've got a heavy direct counter strike. Again, you have to uh, perform a synchronized block uh, again against an enemy, leave it set open to a devastating direct counter-attack. Heavy area counter-strike, and you can see this is uh, looking pretty nasty, and uh, successfully performing a synchronized block against an enemy, leaves it again open to attack. And then we've got chained grab, okay, and uh, Agile move with the combat cross used to finish stunned enemies with a violent melee. You just hold the right um, attack in. You, sometimes you'll grab the weapon if they're holding a weapon and whack them with their own weapon. And uh, sometimes you'll just destroy them yourself. And you can see it continues on to the second page. Then we have got stomp uh, in the air. Hold the left and down button. So you can already see there's loads of different moves. And uh, then we have got fast recovery which is going to be useful possible to return to the combat position straight away so it's a bit of a kind of fighting maneuver if you like straight up from a kind of fighting game point of view and then we have got direct attack quick and powerful direct attacks pretty much speak for themselves okay it just shows you the buttons y and x Area attack, 90 degree fan that damages all objects in its trajectory. It can be used both in the air and on the ground. So not only can you use a lot of these uh, on the ground, you can use them in the air. So there's loads of different combinations. Direct attack combo final. Powerful combination of four horizontal hits that ends with a smashing frontal hit. Capable of destabilizing the en energy enemy. <laughs> okay. And then we've got area attack combo final, and uh, 590, 180, and 360 degree fan attacks that catch all surrounding enemies. These skills can be used both on the air and ground again. Rising strike, Y and B. And we have got rising assault, X and B. You've probably seen me do that a few times. Guillotine final brutal frontal downward attack into a devastating yank of the chain that knocks down ground based enemies caught in its effect. Okay, that's an air move, that one. Spinning chain final looks very cool. Creates a whirlwind spinning attack, sucks up all nearby enemies, damaging them in the process, then continues with a ground chainsaw attack. And yeah, if you're thinking. Is that it? No, there is more. There's a lot more. Tremor Punch. This is just getting better. Powerful um, energy charged punch capable of breaking the guard of enemy. Can be used both on the ground and in the air once again. And uh, I'd like to say I'm going to manage to do all these in my little bit of gameplay, but I won't, so I'm just going to do some of them. So there's an Earthquake Punch. Left and hold X. And again, it can be used in the air on the ground. Chain Shredder. Hold down your Y, extremely fast hits. And then, unfortunately, we come to the locked ones. 
We've got Chain Barrier, which I'm assuming is defensive. Chain Shredder, a final. You need to be level 14s and 15s. Next one, 16. Chain Barrier, final. Hurricane, Tornado. And you just need to increase. So that's all the ones I could see. But that is a lot of different skills. I think you'll agree. I hope you'll agree. And I'm pretty impressed with the wide range of moves. So probably not shown you many because I haven't even gone into the list um, much so uh, that is a list of the moves and um, so I can show you every single one just going to show you a few in a very very quick couple of minutes fighting right now Okay, so um, I'm just going to quickly um, show you a couple of these moves. So uh, here we go. Basics, these are. And uh, then there's obviously air ones. The ground punch. And uh, there's just a whole load, like. Uh, and I, there's uh, one of my favourite ones, and another of my favourite ones. Chucking a couple of boomerangs for good effect, and you can see there is a whole load. And uh, trying to remember them all is a challenge in itself. So uh, it is going to be a challenge to remember these all, but. There's a lot more, and I obviously could see that from the list, than you probably thought at first. So uh, it's going to be a real challenge to try and get them all in at the same time in the game. But I'm going to try and include as many as of, obviously as I can in the gameplay. So that's just a quick look at a few of those moves from that list. Obviously I didn't include all of them, otherwise I'd be referring backwards and forwards until I can remember them all. But it does look like it's going to be an amazing game and I'm really, really looking forward to doing the Let's Play and I'm trying to pull off as many of those moves as I possibly can. So, let's leave it here and uh, this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.